Hi, welcome to Linux channel. See, whenever I get uh, students, uh, they do often inquire about um, uh, network software development uh, and as well, uh, you know, kernel uh, network stack development and stuff. And uh, sometimes I directly start with uh, uh, the kernel space uh, programming, uh, especially network programming in uh, kernel space. Uh, uh, walking through uh, the TCP stack and various uh, core network subsystems in the Linux kernel. But besides, I also give them uh, a fundamental overview of uh, networking concepts, not the way as they cover in, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, in a college uh, curriculum, but in a more suited for, uh, a, a, you know, industry point of view and industry approach. See, one of the things I also suggest them is uh, uh, once they are well versed with that, they can literally play around, uh, uh, you know, doing uh, experiments uh, both in user space as well as in, uh, you know, kernel space. And uh, when I mention it is user space, uh, that doesn't mean I am saying uh, uh, a basic uh, socket programming. What I meant is uh, you can uh, do some, uh, you know, uh, uh, raw sockets you can also do some uh, lippy cap and stuff like that so if you ask me i sometimes do with raw sockets i have even uh, posted uh, several uh, video episodes about the same in the past uh, you can do that uh, the advantage with raw sockets is you can also sniff the packets you can also generate the packets and stuff like that so you can refer my videos i'm going to attach in this you know video description uh, but besides uh, uh, these days I also do with uh, uh, turn tap interfaces uh, if it is uh, coming a picture that I need a production level uh, user space uh, uh, stack then we can also leverage uh, something like turn tap uh, hope you are aware if you not most VPN solutions use uh, some form of turn tap uh, uh, you know uh, uh, interface as one of the architecture let's say open uh, VPN and the v10 and stuff like that there are also exceptions uh, say for instance a wireguard has its own uh, network uh, interface uh, as a part of its stack it uh, works in uh, you know as a kernel module uh, i mean in a, as a kernel uh, uh, source uh, and uh, it generates that uh, virtual uh, uh, port and stuff but besides if you are uh, somewhat interested uh, to understand uh, uh, you know packet uh, sniffing in the sense uh, you know it, it's just not packet sniffing actually it can be a case that you are writing a stack and you need an inflow of packets in your stack so hence you need the packets inside and if you know uh, one of the popular tools which all of us use is uh, TCP dump and Wireshark <laughs> so usually the TCP dump and Wireshark are done on top of a stack called or a framework or library called a lippy cap and it is quite very very popular among the communities although i'm not big fan of it because i like uh, a kind of raw access to the packets i don't want anything uh, depending on a huge library and stuff but again this is something uh, uh, someone is telling who is you know uh, working in this space for a long time but it's not the same suggestion I can give to you. If you are eager, interested, you can definitely have to explore a lippy cap. And uh, in this episode, we can walk through you know such examples you find across online. The main point is you find all these examples. I don't want to rewrite my own version of code. Sometimes if none of them I'm not convinced, then I do live coding as you've seen in most episodes or i will do some code myself uh, so that i can actually highlight something which you know some of these online examples are missing but in this episode you can see here uh, you can search like this uh, sample lippy cap c code and you get various links uh, and uh, you can see there one of the oldest one is from open source uh, uh, forums or open source for you i'm sorry open source for you website and uh, you can see there the date is around 2011 uh, one of the important things is uh, if you ever take such uh, source code uh, check whether it is relevant now uh, check whether it still compiles and works if something has been changed in the library 
or uh, any data structures or uh, type defs or enumerated data types perhaps you may need to refer once again and port it so code you take don't expect as it is to work and this is 100% is true whenever you do any kernel uh, you know development if you take any online code 99% or 100% chances if it is published some two years ago then it may no longer work in the current scenario you need to port that uh, some callback api may be changed or some data structures must have been changed so it will never work uh, you know uh, the stock source code so uh, even most examples what i posted i see often when i teach uh, to my students i take that example and i never seen them <laughs> working actually anymore the reason is current uh, kernel may not support uh, that you know old kernel module this is not so common uh, in user space usually user space you are working in an abstract environment so in user space it never happens but rarely it does happen so you need to be aware of so what you do is whenever you take just make sure that if you get any errors uh, you know check the you know current include files and stuff like that and you need to do some minor porting here and there okay so be be prepared for that so if you are very new college going student just bury it in your mind nothing you just take mostly it works when it comes to systems you know development okay so you can see there is one example here there is also another example and this i think uh, has been published in github somewhere and uh, from which i have taken uh, you can see that lippy cap example code i just uh, taken from github and there are also other variants actually and this is the main website a tcp dump and also you will find the lippy cap you know um, source code uh, as well as the project uh, details and stuff um, okay the oral lippy cap stuff and so you can refer any apis and stuff over here if there is any change in the api if as i said some compilation error go here and check you know if something has been changed and then check its uh, parameters and stuff and perhaps you can correct and also you can see there are various versions over here not here here somewhere you will find you can see there there are various you know lippy cap versions are there 1.10 1.5 1.6 1.8 1.9 things like that okay so hence they must have changed some api they must have added some api uh, or data structures and stuff so go there and refer if there is any error so that way if you see uh, if you want to do this uh, code uh, not to run the tcp dump and wireshark then you need to install something like uh, lippy cap dev uh, you can see there i'm attempting to install and you can see there uh, apt get install lippy cap dev so install that uh, with that you get this uh, uh, development uh, uh, runtime so, so that you can compile your lippy cap code and stuff so this is like uh, most uh, external libraries so whenever you compile you need to give that option uh, minus l p cap and stuff so this is uh, very common if you do some threads also p threads you need to give minus l p thread and stuff so similarly you need to give this so install this you can see there uh, the most important thing is you can see lippy cap dev and it shows this version and this variant okay 1.10.3 hyphen one so you can go back here and trace which is the one which got installed in your system so if you have a very old uh, linux uh, uh, system some old ubuntu server uh, as your test uh, system at your home uh, then it may install some other version hence you need to check those things okay just check which version it is installed you can see uh, it is not this it is none of these 10 to 10 1 10 0 it is none of this and then uh, the current one seems to be 10.4 and in this case uh, this is the recent ubuntu in this case it is 10.3 so that's what is installed over here so what we do is uh, we make sure this is installed and if not you can try it uh, there is another one uh, uh, you can do also is sudo dpkj minus minus list and you can grab it for lip cap and you can see there uh, lippy cap dev is there and it is listing down the same version okay so this is what and of course when you run any tcp dump it needs uh, it is built upon this you know lippy cap runtime whereas in this case it is the development part means you get all this include files etc etc needed further
so that way you can see uh, one of the source i picked uh, is from this github i have not done any changes whatsoever we take the same uh, stock source code and we try to walk through i'm going to attach the source code link uh, in this uh, video description the github link uh, 